FM23 is finally here and with that comes a whole new generation of Wonder Kids for you guys to sign. We've got lots to get into today so get your notepad and your pens ready as we go through our essential picks for this year's game. Welcome to the video everyone, I'm Jake for FM Scout and we have got 20 Wonder Kids to go into today, most of which you are not going to know about. We haven't gone for the obvious picks of Addy Emmy, of Bellingham that you've known about from years gone by. We'll be looking at mainly new Wonder Kids and also Wonder Kids who have had massive upgrades, so I'm very excited to get into it. Before we do though, if you could show your support by smashing the like button as this is one of our first videos of FM23, any support would be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our FM content. Comment down below who you think we missed and who you're looking forward to using, and let's get in to player number one. In no particular order, our first Wonder Kid is PSG's 16-year-old Frenchman, Warren Zer Emery. This guy can play in the defensive midfield slots and is also natural in central midfield and offers quite a bit in the defensive phase of the game and can pass decently well too. At the age of 16, he's got a lot of room left to grow and a lot of great starting attributes to build up from and you can mould him into the kind of midfielder that you'd be interested in. We won't focus too long on each individual player, but make sure you do stick around because if you think this guy's good, we've got some absolute stars throughout this video. So if you're looking for a central midfielder or a defensive midfielder, then Warren Zer Emery could be your man. A few years in the future though, because he does need a little bit of time to grow. Player number two is a Brazilian attacker. There'll be a few of those in this list, just a warning. And his name is Victor Roque, a 17 year old playing for ATP in the Brazilian divisions. ATP is what they'll be called if you don't have the real name fix on. And whilst he can play out wide, he looks like a great advanced forward with some very well-rounded technical for a 17 year old he's quick and he has nice mentals as well certainly the kind of player that could be dangerous at full growth and one of the best attackers in your save but I mean you'll see later in this list he is not the best Brazilian attacker that you'll be seeing today and you know what I think I'll show you that Brazilian attacker next but first let's look at Karim Canate an Ivorian 18 year old from RB Salzburg who seemed to churn out Wonder Kid strikers one after another and he looks very very good very well rounded in the physical department his mentals look pretty good as well and whilst his technicals could do with a little bit of work he can finish and he can dribble decently well around two million pounds will net you this striker so he's certainly one of the better bargains that you'll see in today's list but before we look at the next player who is amazing i'd like to let you guys know i do have my own channel linked in the description it's all football manager based and we have got a leicester save on the go currently if you'd like to check it out we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers so any support will be greatly appreciated i really do think anyone that comes along will enjoy it so give it a chance watch episode one see what you think and you never have to come back there'll be some rebuilds on that channel as well but i won't keep you guys waiting anymore let's check out the man the myth the legend endrick the best wonder kid of this year i'm putting it out there already i think most would agree his potential ratings are going to be incredible this guy is 15 years old and is dubbed the future of brazilian football he's a striker who seemingly can play a few different roles but realistically he will be your striker in your saves already great physicals mentals and technicals are exceptional right from the off he's not going to cost you too much money either for the player you're getting and he will become one of the world's best in every single one of your saves that you do i can almost guarantee it if you can't find him in your save i imagine he should be but the chances are that you haven't got him loaded that goes with all the players in today's video you need to make sure you've got the league loaded that this player is in to have them appear in your save and you do that at the start of your save when selecting your database we're going to make a video solely about endrick i'm sure coming up soon but here he is what a player and he is going to become so so good in all of your saves whilst endrick does have a lot of potential there's actually someone i believe looks better from the off in terms of these wonder kids that we're going to look at today we'll get on to him a little bit later towards the end of the video but if we're talking about the best goalkeeping wonder kid of this year Gabriel Slanina is right up there if not the best wonder kid goalkeeper you can get the 18 year old American already has a contract agreed to join Chelsea that'll kick in after his loan at Chicago Fire in the MLS and he looks like a very good option a model citizen at least in this save I'm assuming that'll be across all saves with some amazing physicals for an 18 year old six foot four with some very nice mentals as well determination 
off the charts and his goalkeeping attributes look very good too. And even though goalkeepers don't always reach their full potential, I feel like Slanina has a great chance of doing just that. A player who is more ready made for your sides though is Caleb Okoli of Atalanta. Costing you about £20 million, the 20 year old Italian has had a big improvement for this year's game and looks like a very, very good option at centre back. Physicals are perfect, exactly what you want, and his mentals and technicals are looking great too. He's no ball playing centre back, but he can certainly put in a great defensive shift. Speaking of a good defensive shift, you could probably get one out of Nikola Zalewski of Roma. The Polish international looks like he can play every position on the pitch, but looks like a very good option at wing back. Physically, perfectly well rounded. His technicals look great too in terms of getting forward, but he can also defend really well and his mentors are nicely balanced. If 10 million pounds is really his price point, I think that's a great option to have. Could start off as a backup, even at one of the best teams and will definitely become a top draw left wing back or wherever else you want to play him. Don't forget to like the video if you are enjoying it really will help a lot in terms of the video's performance and subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell if you haven't done so yet. We'll be releasing plenty of videos two a day hopefully in this release period of FM23 so there's going to be a lot of content to keep an eye out for. So thank you to anyone who does do that but we're moving on now to our next wonder kid and it is Emre Tezgel, an English 16 year old playing for Stoke. Now he isn't as mind-blowing as some of the other options but he certainly does look like he could have a promising future. 15 finishing, 14 technique looks great already and some of his other attributes are looking pretty good. He will need to develop a little bit in that physical department and I'm sure he will at the age of 16 but he looks like a good option for English sides in the lower leagues maybe. In my prediction video before FM23 I suggested Matthias Tell will likely get an upgrade after his performances at Bayern Munich and his recent transfer there and I was right the guy's been upgraded and he looks very good as a an option coming off that left flank or as a striker too but I think coming in as an inverted winger inside forward could work well for him great physicals great mentals great technicals we've already seen it the 17 year old can play at the highest level right from the off he recently signed from Wren for 17 million pounds and looks like he's going to make waves in the Bundesliga at only 17 he's got plenty of time to grow still okay we're about halfway through the list now and we move on to a player who was around last year Andreas Schalderup but now he has has a fixed potential ability rating so providing he gets the right training he'll always reach the same potential but look at this guy if he was playing for Real Madrid he'd be a 60 million pound player but because he is at FC Norseland out in Denmark apologies for the pronunciation he does have a pretty cheap value of around 7 million pounds and look at those stats particularly those technicals the 18 year old Norwegian looks fantastic and it's another great young talent in that Norway squad on the opposite flank we have Lille Abada of Celtic an Israeli national who looks pretty good to be honest his attributes look pretty well distributed nothing to stand out but nothing too poor either and whilst I don't think he's going to be anyone's first choice signing he could certainly do a job at a variety of different levels it looks like he started his career at Celtic well and it looks like it's onwards and upwards for Abada. A player who's had a massive upgrade this year is Cesare Casade of Chelsea he is in their youth teams currently having recently signed from Inter he was signed in the same spree that Slanina was signed in by Todd Bowley as he tried to buy some of the better young talent around and Cassidy this year can become one of the best central midfielders there is. He's very well rounded, offers a lot going forward in terms of goal scoring, heading ability, even passing and distribution. He's physically very well distributed too. This guy could be a favourite for many of you guys and he is available for loan right from the off. So give him a go and see what you think. Another young Premier League talent is Romeo Lavia of Southampton with a hefty valuation of £50 million. And I think anyone who's had the chance to watch him will say he does look very good. And in FM, that is replicated. He's a great passer who can also tackle well and can dribble. He could be the perfect central midfielder. You can see the roles offered to him here. Maybe a box-to-box -box ball winner. Lavia could be your man. Another Belgian who could be interesting though is Julian Duranville of Anderlecht. He's actually playing for Anderlecht's youth team. They're called RSCA Futures supposedly and he can play on either wing but being a right footer and usually what this game favours is someone cutting inside. I think Duranville would be a great signing. A player who can play on both flanks and has a lot of potential. He is certainly someone to keep an eye on. Whether you want to splash 12 million on him straight away with these attributes is another question. But he will grow a hell of a lot. He's quick. 
he's pacey, he's agile too, he's going to get at the defender and hopefully cause a lot of problems for the opposition defence. Unless maybe that defence consisted of 18-year-old Portuguese centre-back Antonio Silva, who looks like an absolute beast. 18 years of age, 20 million pounds from Benfica. I think this will be a great signing for any save. Perfectly distributed attributes, very good in all areas. A modern day centre back who can play the ball. This guy is fantastic and one of my favourites from this list. But my favourite is coming up next. And that is Arda Gula of Fenerbahce. Now I know Endrick is incredible and has incredible potential ability and maybe by the time Endrick's 17 he'll look this good but I mean wow. This 17 year old Turkish national has technical attributes that players of 10 years older than him could only dream of. Amazing first touch passing technique free kick taking, corners, crossing, finishing as well. Yes, his physicals need work and his mentals aren't the world's best, but he does have good determination, some amazing technicals, vision as well is off the charts. This guy could be the perfect attacking midfielder and he's not even going to cost you that much either. My opinion would be to sign him up straight away and reap the rewards in years to come. Four players left now and we go back to Brazil and to Luis Guilherme, a 16 year old who is also considered one of the best prospects out in Brazil alongside Endrick. Now he doesn't look as good the 16 year old but he does have a lot of great potential. Nothing too much to talk about right now in the attributes department but he's definitely one of those that can become a hell of a lot better. After speaking to his agent, his value has shifted a little bit, but I certainly think he would be worth an investment at some point. Maybe don't waste your whole transfer budget on him, but when you get more funds down the line, he's definitely worth taking a punt on. Our final three now, and we go back to Bayern Munich, where we have Matthias Tell, but now we have Paul Wanner, a 16-year-old German who can play every position on the pitch but is mainly a central midfielder he'd be great in either role he is natural in but to have these attributes at only 16 is very very impressive and I think he'll go on to be a lot of people's favorite this year in that position it's not too much money either he'll be in most of your saves because most of the time you'll have Germany loaded and the Bundesliga so I expect to see him becoming one of the best in your saves player number 19 out of 20 is going to be the Portuguese 17 year old João Veloso thank you guys for watching to this point by the way so far hopefully you found your favorite wonder kid do let me know who you're looking forward to trying most in the comments and thank you for joining us in this video and for hopefully more in the future on FM Scout but we're not done quite yet the 17 year old from Benfica can play central midfield and also attacking midfield naturally there might be better options out there that we've seen so far but he's certainly not the worst choice in the world if you wanted a midfielder with plenty of potential and we finish off with 16 year old Scottish national Ben Doak of Liverpool 15 million pounds ish will net you this player who can play on the wing on the right hand side his physicals look great for a 16 year old and will develop over time Agile and pacey is exactly what you want for that role. Mentals need a little bit of work, to be honest, as do his technicals, but there's time for this guy, as there is with all players in this list. Now, if their attributes don't look exactly the same in your saves, remember that it will fluctuate, as will their potential abilities, all of which are kept within a certain range. So keep an eye on these players. In some of your saves, they might not be as good, but in others, they will be great, and that's the beauty of Football Manager. But all of these have the potential to be great signings if done right. But there we go, guys. That is the end of today's video, of today's Wonder Kid list. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. Remember to hit the like button on the video and to check out my channel linked in the description and my Leicester save. I'll greatly appreciate it. But most of all, have a great day, everyone. Have a great FM23, and I'll see you in the next video.